Hi book lovers, welcome to the YouTube library. We are CET accredited and corporate certified. My name is MD Njiru, the artist. In today's session, we are going to sample of the book Chicken Soup for the Soul. It's a collection of 101 stories. Some of the stories are sad stories, some are happy stories, and others are outright inspirational stories. The story that I'm going to read out today is called True Love, and I hope that by reading the story, it will intrigue you enough, it will intrigue your curiosity so that you can go grab the book. And if you have read the story or the book, kindly share in the comment section which story you like the most. So here we go. True Love. Moses Mendelssohn, the grandfather of the well-known German composer, was far from being handsome. Along with a rather short stature, he had a grosstack hunchback. One day, he visited a merchant in Hamburg who had a lovely doctor named Fumch. Moses fell helplessly, hopelessly in love with her, but Fumch was repulsed by his misshapen appearance. The name Frumch means wealth, genius, and protector. When it, came, when it came time for him to leave, Moses gathered his courage and climbed the stairs to her room to take one last opportunity to speak with her. She was a vision of heavenly beauty, but caused him deep sadness by her refusal to look at him. After several attempts at conversation, Moses, Moses shyly asked, do you believe marriages are made in heaven? Yes, she answered, still looking at the floor. And do you? Yes, I do, he replied. You see, in heaven at birth, at the birth of each boy, the Lord announces which girl he will marry. When I was born, my future bride was pointed out to me. Then the Lord added, but your wife will be hump-backed. Right then and there I called out. Oh Lord, a hump-backed woman would be a tragedy. Please, Lord, give me the give me the hump and let her be beautiful. Then Frumsh looked into his eyes and was stirred by some deep memory. She reached out and gave Mendelssohn her hand and later became his devoted wife. Wadaw, this story has been calling me into action. Of late, I've been eyeing my landlord's daughter. I don't know if I should go and tell her, baby girl, I know you believe marriages are made in heaven. And when I was born, the Lord pointed to me, my future wife. She was beautiful. She was a piece of art and she was stunning. But the Lord said, She's going to be born into hardship. I cried to the Lord and said, God, Manze, Acha tu, I be born into the hardship and she, bo she be born into the soft life. And that's how I took your place. Wadaum Nonaji's story. Should I go tell her when she's alone? All for double effect, double impact. You are just told her, Dawari na nini nini. Should I go and tell her, Wakio na babake? Kindly hit me up and give me your, and give me your ad advice. That is it for today. Manze, kindly subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you.